Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss with you fractional knapsack problem. We have already discussed 0 1 knapsack problem. If you want to check out that video then I will provide you the link in the description box. Okay. So here we are given some objects, 7 objects with their weights and profits. And total weight is given what? 15 kg. Suppose I am taking the weight in kgs. Total items are 17. We have one bag. Okay, having weight 15 kg or you can say one container having uh, capacity 15 kg. Okay, now you have to select items such that you will get the maximum profit. We cannot select all the items because if you total the weight of all the items then it would be greater than 15. So, we cannot select all the items. Okay, because maximum capacity is 15 kg of this bag. Now, how you will select the item so that you will get the maximum profit. So, uh, there are three approaches. You can say that we will select the item first which is having maximum profit. See the maximum profit is 15. So, we will select this item, then we will select this item, then we will select this item like this. Okay. Or maybe second approach is what? We will select items having minimum weight so that we can we can select more and more items, minimum weight like this one, we can select this one, then this one, then this one, then three, then three, then four and five like this, second approach. Third approach is what? Maybe I can say that I will find out the ratio of profit by weight and then I will select the item having the maximum profit by weight ratio. See. The profit of this item is 15, you can say maximum profit, but this profit is for 5 kgs, it is not for 1 kg. If you will find out the profit for 1 kg, then profit would be what 15 by 5 that is 3. For 1 kg it is 3 and here for 1 kg we have 5. So, this is this is a good choice rather than this one. Okay. So, the best approach, is, uh, best approach is to find out the ratio profit by weight and then select the items having that maximum profit by weight ratio. I will discuss with you all the three approaches and then you will compare all the three approaches. So, first one is you will select the items according to their maximum profit, second one, one is according to minimum weight and third one is according to the maximum profit by weight ratio. Okay. First approach. Okay, the first approach is select the items according to their maximum profit. Okay, this is the table. Now, check out which item is having maximum profit that is 15. Then we will select this object. Object name is what? 3, profit is what? 15, weight is what? 5, remaining weight is what? See total weight is 15, 15 minus 5, we have selected this item. The remaining is what? 10. Now, next is maximum profit is what? After this 15, we are done with this 15, 10. Object is 2, profit is what? 10, weight is what? 3, remaining weight is what? 10 minus 3, that is 7. Now, we are done with this one also. Now, next is what? This 9. Object is 6, profit is 9, weight is what? 3, remaining is 7 minus 3, that is 4. We are done with this one. Now, next is 8. Object is what? 5. Profit is 8. Weight is what? 1. Remaining is 4 minus 1 that is 3. We are done with this one. Next maximum is what? 7. Object is 4. Profit is 7. Weight is, see here weight is what? 4. But we have one remaining weight that is 3. So, we cannot select the complete object. We cannot pick the complete object. As the name suggest, frac uh, the name suggests that is fractional. So, we have to select fraction of this object. See, this object is divisible. Okay. Suppose we have 4 kg of apple, then you will select only 3 kg of apple because the remaining capacity is what? Only 3. So, out of 4, the weight you will select is what? 3. The profit would be according to this 3 because we have selected this 3 and this 7 is profit is what for 4 kg. So, you have to ch find out the profit for 3 kg and that profit would, would be 7 into we have selected only 3 out of 4, 3 by 4 that would be 
21 by 4 and that would be 5.25. Now remaining weight is what? 3. We have selected 3 that is 0. Yeah, pe 0 anna chahi in the last. Okay. Now check out what is the total profit. Here the total profit is 47.25. I am writing here 47.25 in the first method. Now we will discuss the second method. Choose the item according to their minimum weight okay now second approach is we have to select items according to their minimum weight find out minimum weight is what one and one so you can select this one or this one we'll select suppose this one first one object is what one profit is five weight is one remaining weight is what total is 15 15 minus one that is 14 next minimum is this one object is five profit eight weight is one remaining 14 minus one that is 13. We are done with this one and this one. Next is 2. Object 7. Profit is 4. Weight is 2. 13 minus 2 that is 11. We are done with this one. Next is 3 and 3. So you can select this either this 2 or either this 6. We are selecting suppose 2. Profit 10. Weight is what? 3. Remaining is 11 minus 3 that is 8. We are done with this one. Next, this 3. Object 6, 9, 3, remaining 8 minus 3, that is 5. We are done with this one. Now, next minimum is what? This 4. Object is 4. Profit 7. We have selected this 4. Remaining is 5 minus 4, that is 1. Now, we are done with this 4 also. Now, next is what? This one. 5. Object is 3. Now remaining weight is what? 1 only and the total weight is what? 5. So we cannot select the complete object. You are select, you will select the fraction of this object that is 1 by 5th. You will select only 1 kg out of 5 kg. And this profit is what? For 5 kg and for 1 kg the profit would be 15 into 1 by 5 that is 3. Remaining 1 minus 1 that is 0. Okay. Now finally total weight is what? 0. We cannot select any more item. Okay. Now find out the total profit. The total would be what? The total profit would be 46. For the second approach it would be 46. Now I will discuss the third one. We will find out the ratio of this profit by weight and then we will select the maximum profit by weight ratio okay the third approach is what you have to find out the profit by weight ratio okay for one kg you will find out the profit see profit is five it is for one kg that is five p by w here profit is what 10 but is it is what for three kg for one kg what is the profit 10 by 3 that is 3.3 .3. same 15 by 5, 3, 7 by 4, 1.75, 8 by 1, 8, 9 by 3 and 4 by 2. We have find out profit by weight ratio. Now we will select the items according to the maximum profit by weight ratio. Find out the ratio. Maximum is what? This one, 8. Okay. Now we will select this object. Object is what? 5. Profit is what? 8. Weight is what? 1 remaining is what 15 minus 1 that is 14 we are done with this object 5 now next maximum ratio is out of 8 we have 5 select this item 1 5 profit weight is 1 14 minus 1 remaining is what 13 we are done with this one now next is what 8 5 then we have 3.3 .3. next maximum is object is what 2 Profit 10, weight is what? This 3, remaining is 13 minus 3, that is 10 we have. Okay. Next, we have selected what this 2 also. Next ratio is 3 and 3. So you can select either this one or this one. We are selecting suppose this 3. Object is 3, profit is 15, weight is what? 5, remaining is 10 minus 5, that is 5. 
next we will select this 6. Profit 9, weight is what 3, remaining is 5 minus 3 that is 2, we are done with this one. Now next ratio, next remaining object is 4 and 7, 2 and 1.75, so maximum is what this one, 2, we will select object 7, okay. Now find out the weight that is 2, remaining is also 2, then we can select the complete object, okay, weight is, sorry profit is 4, weight is what 2 remaining 2 minus 2 that is 0. Now find out the total of these one. The total would be what? Okay, so the total profit would be 51. For when we are following the third approach, then profit is what? 51. So the maximum profit is what? That is 51. We have got this profit in the third approach. So this approach is the best one. Okay. Asa koi question aata hai, you have to solve this question according to this approach. You have to first find out profit by weight ratio, then you will select the maximum profit by weight ratio item, okay. Then you will get the maximum profit. So this is what the fractional knapsack problem and this is known as greedy method. So please keep in mind one thing, in fractional knapsack problem, you will find out the optimized result when you apply greedy method. But in 0, 1 knapsack problem, it is better to use dynamic programming. For fractional greedy method is good and for 0, 1 dynamic programming method is good. Okay. So, I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.